All right, my friends, how you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, to a new episode of the FIFA 22 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Finger points to the sky. It's episode number 265. Yeah, 265 today. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, today is going to be a fairly fun one, I would say. We're going to we're gonna start things off by completing an SBC that we started yesterday. Uh, there's going to be a big fodder pack as well as a nice player unlock. So if you do enjoy, do me a favor, smash the thumbs up button. 3,000 likes. Can you make that happen? Thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel as well if you're new. Oh, I think I just made the camera shake from slapping the table there. I'm just passionate about you guys hitting that thumbs up button, you know. Uh, so anyway, this is the current team. We uh, luckily packed Kunde last episode, uh, right at the end. So he can come into the squad. Very, very excited to give him a go uh, at centre-back. And then still play Alaba as a CDM alongside Mateus. Uh, but we need we need to, uh, to finish off the Dan Juma SBC that I started yesterday. So I did the most expensive part because I had some duplicate fodder. I think it was a Tony Kroos. Uh, and then we get the 85 rated squad, the slightly cheaper part done as well. No money spent, just fodder in the club. And this looks to be a monster of a card. So uh, I know he's been out now nearly, nearly the whole week. Um, and a lot of you have probably already decided if you were getting him or not. And I think he might be expired by the time you're watching this, perhaps. Um, but that, that, my friends, is a solid, solid card. 96 pace, 95 dribbling. Uh, but it's just more importantly, it's the, it's the four-star skills and the five-star weak foot that he's got. Um, that's really, really nice. And, yeah, just some genuinely great end-game stats. That shooting is 90 because penalties is really low. The rest of the stats are uh, genuinely quite, like, end game so uh yeah we, what we got there is a at least an amazing super sub if he doesn't quite make it into the start and 11 because at the moment i'm playing like central central players so I, I haven't got a left mid and a right mid to get into a squad and i'm trying my best to not play anyone off chemistry at this moment in time so uh with any extras we did a couple more of these little 80 plus doubles they have been like they were like my go-to this week as opposed to like the player picks because the 80 plus player picks this week weren't weren't like a specific league they weren't la liga or whatever um so that's that kind of sucks but it is what it is at the end of the day isn't it so another sergio senjo living rent free in my club and in my head i think at this point uh so we can put the formation to this and actually, Alaba gets that strong link off of um, off of Isco now because uh, it, the way it's lined up, and I can just put uh, I can put Van der Sar back in net, so I don't have to go out and spend sixty odd k on Courtois, and I do just need to pick myself back up again, uh, uh, Marcos Acuna. So I sold him for one six five, I think, something like that, uh, and he was rising again, which was annoying. But then I just randomly searched and got one for one five one. And at the time of recording, that was a very good price. I suspect by the time you're watching this, maybe it maybe it drops a little bit. Um, his price was yo yoing like mad. So I'm happy with the price I paid. Uh, it's like 15k less than than what I sold one for yesterday. So uh, yeah, we, we've made a little bit of money up there, which is is always good. And uh, I've still got plenty of money as well. So worst case scenario is that I lose like 80k on that card and he's down to like 70 or something by the time we go and sell him. Uh, and if that's the case, that's the case. Like, it just doesn't really matter too much, does it? He's a, a good player that I'm looking forward to using. So then in the background, I went ahead and did uh, like six games of uh, squad battles for icon swaps. I did first owner EFL championship is what I did. I didn't have a full first owner silver team uh, of any any description. So I, there's there's sometimes you can get three tokens from six games. Uh, I always knew that I was going to do it in batches of two, two, and then I'll just have six games left to do uh, one thing. I just didn't have the stuff in my club to to really, really maximize the potential and, and play as little games as possible. But killing two birds with one stone is always a, a useful uh, thing to do in this anyway. So we cut it down from... I think like 30 games of squad battles to like 18 in the end total. So we got our first six done anyway. Uh, it brings me up to, what does it bring me up to? Well, actually, we've got our first uh, four done because I think these ones right here claim me even more. Yeah. Uh, so I did the Silver Beasts alongside the next batch. So that was good. So I scored with some, uh, some, some silver informs and whatnot. 
and got my silver era of easy one done i went out and bought a load of non-rares for whatever they cost uh so that was fun trying to trying to play with a bunch of very low rated non-rare silvers and stuff uh you can make your substitutes of course but when you're on world class that sometimes does stress you out a little bit there was one game here in in one of these batches where i was two nil down and i was like yep screw this i'm rage quitting uh so we've got four tokens at the moment just from playing 12 games of squad battles. It's a bit of a slog, but we've got four tokens. And I can send the first of two very good fodder packs. It's going to take me a few days to get the next fodder pack, the 85 times 20. But this is an 84 plus times 25. So this is nearly as good. And it's only three tokens. So I'm very glad that I didn't use this in the first batch. And I did the icon stuff in the first batch. Because now we get the chance to pack some good fodder during team of the season. When that other stuff wasn't out. Um, so yeah, quite excited. So we've got a few packs to open. Because I did, of course, complete the Silver Beast as well. So there's like four 75 plus rated player packs here. Sometimes these dish out some very, very good stuff. Uh, you've just got to hit the servers at the right time, I think. And just hope you get lucky because uh, sometimes they won't even give you boards in any of them. And I think that was the case for me today. Duplicate, unfortunately, as well. Uh, we will just say goodbye to that. Yeah, if I was if I was really being picky about it, I'd send it into another player. Uh, another double 80 plus La Liga pack or whatever. But sometimes it's just like, yeah, I can't be bothered. I really want to get to my big fodder pack here. So stop making me wait. Rare mega pack time though. Guaranteed a board or above. Any blues? No, we can get 86 or 87 walkout. Uh, it's going to be an 87. It's going to be Thomas Muller. Uh, of course, just over a week ago, had himself a blue as well. He's very good as well, the team of the season, Muller. Uh, I do recommend him. He's sort of an overlooked tots because people don't think he's good on ultimate team. But he's got a good card this year. I'll be honest. He's, he's very, very usable uh, if you don't need the skills. So here's my 84 plus times 25. We get blue. We get Austrian centre back. We know that's going to be David Alaba, don't we? We've got him in red, so that's a essentially a duplicate. But it's high rated. It's ninety four. Yeah, we know that there's no Benzema, Vinny, uh, any any crazy stuff like that. But there could be literally basically anything else. And we do get another blue. We get a Moonain in there as well, as well as an eighty eight rated UEL trap, as well as an inform and a bunch of eighty sixes. But the drop-off was quite significant, and we do get quite a lot of 84s. There was another inform, and actually another blue, so we do get three blues in that pack. Um, but one of them is Adan, and that doesn't really count, does it? And we've already, yeah, so we've got a couple of duplicate untradables there, uh, and some high-rated fodder again. Because Alaba, for, for me, that blue can just be classed as fodder. Um, I've got a red one, which is more prestigious uh, in the club already. So, so yeah, oh, these, are, these are my Eredivisie boys, by the way. They did a job. And I'll sell them on for what I paid for them, really. Because, you, you know, if you do it in the same session, you get six games done. The prices of these players haven't fluctuated too much in a couple of hours. So uh, you can just go ahead and sell them on. So we are now sat on quite a lot of fodder in the background of the club. And with this squad, and with about 600,000 coins or so. So we're doing, we're doing fairly well. Maybe it's 700,000 coins. I think it is nearly 700,000 coins. So just to be sure, this is how we're going to be lining up in game um, with with my main team. Three five two has been working for me, an absolute treat, uh, and we'll just move players to the correct position. So Da Costa, Sula, Kunde as the as the back three, with Mateus and Alaba as the CDMs. Pele out on the right, not getting back at all. Uh, Acuna on the left, getting forwards and coming backwards as well. With Isco central cam and Ronaldo and Felix up top. It's quite a nice team, I would say. <laughs> In my opinion, that is uh, that is one of the better teams that you can put together here on Ultimate Team. A couple of different leagues. I mean, not, it's not a crazy hybrid or anything, but uh, yeah, it's, it's just, just a nice squad. And then I set this up. So this is my La Liga squad uh, to unlock, uh, to rescue Ansu Fati. Uh, and as you can see, those front six there, they're all in midfielder positions because that makes it a lot easier for me, actually, because the objective is like score with... Four-star weak foot or four-star skill move players get assists with through balls or something like that and score with midfielders in 10 games. So if I score with any of those front six, they've all got the four-star skills. Uh, one of them would have passed it to another one, so I'll get the assist. 
And then I'll also definitely score with a midfielder. So as long as I can get 10 wins with this team, uh, I will unlock Ansu Fati really, really fast. Um, and I'll be honest, it took me 15 minutes to get, I think, the first eight or nine games won. Like, I went on a tear. I think, I think it was... I think it was nine. I think I got nine out of the ten wins in like 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. It really didn't take long at all. Uh, you'll see in some of these games that obviously a lot of it was golden goal, and I'm thankful for people for doing that. Um, sometimes people played on a little bit and then waited until it was like 2-0 or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. Maybe this team was just like super attacking or something because I was getting very, very fast rage quits. So I was happy with that. It meant that even if that final win that I needed took forever, it was still going to be a fairly quick session to unlock a very good card in Ansu Fati. So, um, yeah, I won't show you all all of the games because I think the last guy I matched up against two times in a row, this guy I matched up against two times in a row, uh, and luckily for me, sometimes when you match someone again after you've just beaten them, they just pause and quit at nil-nil. Um, luckily, they did play the game in, in, in case they were going to get the win or something. Uh, but yeah, sometimes the teams look really, really good. Um, and then, you know, even so, Dan Juma was just a beast. I was almost thinking, why am I bothering to unlock Ansu Fatty? Because Dan Juma's in the same position. He's really, really good. But they both look insane. I, don't, I didn't want to not get either of them or not get both of them i had to get them both uh, absolutely 100 percent. they just they're, they're they're too good to, to turn down uh because dan juma was a really well-priced sbc at a time where i have lots of fodder um and actually is a bit of a monster as well uh and then ansu fatty for free there's gonna be a lot of people using him i think because he's just genuinely a desirable card on this game so it was going really well for me uh this guy with his gold team decided to wait until 2-0. I've got a feeling, is it this game that I get a goal in like a minute? No, it isn't. Maybe that one's already gone past or maybe it's coming up. But there was a game where I, I got my quit in like one FIFA minute. It was literally kick off, run down the end, score, quit. That was that was kind of crazy. Um, maybe it's the next one. Maybe it's already been. I think it might have already been. Uh, oh no, it could be this. It could be this one. Yeah, it is this one. I'm showing you from kickoff. So Isco, with a little skill move and a little roulette, knocks it through to Joao Felix. Great touch, lovely dribbling. Oh, the pace boost and the finish. You love to see it from the man. Uh, so that was one minute, 13 FIFA seconds. <laughs> and I got my got my quit in that one. Uh, and then into the next game we go. Canales, the final game, actually. There was a couple of games in between which didn't quite go my way. So I quit as well. Um, but yeah, we, we eventually get get someone that we can beat a couple of games later and eventually uh, in total it took me 35 minutes which is nuts uh when you think about it and that was yeah literally nine out of ten wins came in the first 15 or 20 minutes so not a difficult card to unlock really and uh, and if he's still there by the time you're watching this don't miss out this is this is a card and a half this will be meta uh, the, the, the sprint boost and stuff with a player like this. Yeah, it's, it's going to be good. It's just a cool card as well. Uh, I'm very surprised we got this for, for free and quite so easily too. So we welcome Ansu Fatty to the club. Uh, 99 pace, 95 dribbling, 93 shooting, 87 pass and 82 physical. Uh, four star, four star, of course. And I've still got those three, uh, those three players there sat there, the duplicate untradables that I need to use somewhere. Confirmation of the Dutchy selling uh, and one not selling. Oh, God, God damn it. I'll list him up again. Get some money for him. Uh, but yeah, this this team. This team performed really well. Uh, and I've actually realized I've got Munayin as well. So I've got the three left midfielders from La Liga Tots. Um, and they've all come from various different different places. One SBC, one in a pack, and one unlocked uh, as, a, as a player unlocked. So the only one I'm missing is literally Vinicius Jr. If... Uh, if only, if only we could have got that um, sadness. But anyway, uh, it feels a bit weird that like Ali and Kane and uh, are, are benched right now. But just going with the flow of whatever Tots is kind of out and relevant at the time, I'll be using this squad. It seems to be like whatever Tots is out, I'll use the previous weeks in during my week and then maybe in my foot champs play play um, in my foot champs gameplay should I say? And then because they've settled in price. I made mistakes during Bundesliga tots, didn't we, on buying Haaland and trying to use Bundes tots during that tots. So 
always best to wait until like the next week, I would say. Um, so yeah, for League on Tots, it's looking likely that I'll be using this uh, La Liga squad, and I'll be—I mean, you won't see the, the gameplay for that for a, for a few days yet um, until I'm back from from uh, my travels. Uh, but yeah, I. I nearly said where I was going, but I can't say where I'm going because the person who stagged it is doesn't know where they're going and they might watch my video. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Do me a favor, smash the thumbs up button. 3,000 likes? Can we, can we get that? That'd be pretty awesome. And of course, subscribe to my channel as well if you're new. Cheers. Um, find me on Twitter and Instagram. Those links are down below. Have a lovely day. Take it easy. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I'll be back again tomorrow when it'll be the weekend and you'll have another video. All right, I'll see you then. Peace.